Leon, we move on now to important information tonight from DC Water. There is a do not drink advisory that has now expanded. It includes the area you see highlighted on this map here. Water officials were alerted to the problem by residents who say their water smelled like petroleum. Kevin Lewis live in Northwest Washington tonight. So Kevin, what's DC Water doing to fix this? Well, Allison, the short answer to your question, a lot. We're at the corner of 8th and S Streets Northwest, just two blocks from the U Street corridor. These two blue trucks, they're with the Department of the Environment. They've just completed water testing samples. They've sent them up to Fort Meade, where scientists are going to review them throughout the night, trying to determine what is causing that smell. This is the D.C. Water Mobile Command Center. Crews in here busy trying to get ready to flush out the system, and they're going to be using fire hydrants like this one to aid in that process. We're here tonight. We have no issue with the water. DC Water making house calls tonight, telling residents in the Shaw neighborhood, don't touch your tap. You don't smell nothing, your water's fine. Around 11 this morning, customers began to smell petroleum in their drinking water. By mid afternoon, the corner of S and 8th Streets Northwest had become a mobile command center. It's definitely something we don't want in the water. DC Water says eight city blocks are affected. I just drank some last night and drank some this morning, actually. That includes Sultan Shakir's home. I mean, I'm curious whether or not to turn the fridge water off, and we obviously bathe in it and use it for tea and coffee and things like that, so I would love to know whether or not I need to stop doing that, too. Resident Tammy Fields is also in the no drink zone. Went to put the water on and nothing came out, and then all of a sudden it shot out and the water was just black. Environmentalists are now testing the water and say a human or construction project may be to blame. Usually through inspection and enforcement, we find illegal connections uh, that could possibly cause stuff like this, but usually nothing of this size where we have multiple people calling and complaining about the odor. Now, if you live in the affected area, you can still use your water for things like watering plants and also uh, washing your clothes. That said, do not cook, do not shower, don't even wash your dishes until DC Water tells you otherwise. We're live tonight in Northwest. I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News. Okay, Kevin, thank you very much.